Today, we're going to go over how to set up and play a game of Star Wars Unlimited on Tabletop Simulator. First things first, once you've purchased and downloaded the game, you're going to go to your search bar and type Tabletop Simulator and click on it. Once you're here, you're going to select right here, Community Hub. That'll bring you to this page. And then up here at the top, you're going to select Workshop. Once you're here, you're going to type in Star Wars Unlimited. Once there, you have some great options as to which ones to select for mods. You have our two-player board. You also have Late Night Gaming's two-player board. Both of these mods are great. I recommend trying out both and seeing which one you prefer. We also have our multiplayer draft mod. Now, I already have these installed. However, when you highlight these, you'll see a big green arrow here, and we're going to select that, and that will install onto your computer, and you'll be all set to go. The next step in playing a game on TTS is creating a deck on SwooDB. Once you have your great Chewbacca deck ready to go, you can scroll down to the bottom and you can click copy.json text. Once you've figured out what deck to play, you can then open up Tabletop Simulator. We're going to hit Create Multiplayer. It's going to ask you for a server name. You can type whatever you want. And then if you'd like a password, you can enter it here. There's also how many maximum players. You can go from 2 to 10. I like to have a lot of friends in my game, so I always do 10. We'll then hit create server. After that, you'll have this open up. And again, this is where you would select either our mod or the late night gaming mod um, or the multiplayer mod if you decide to draft. But for this example, we're going to go to two player mod from us. So it'll load up and we'll go like this and you'll have the boards. First things first, you must select a color. So you come over here to the top right and change color. And I'm going to choose red for this example. Now, as you can see, I am red. And I'll come over here and I have my two deck importers. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select up here and I'm going to copy paste my deck importer and hit create deck. That will spawn my deck. And we are almost ready to go. Now, a couple caveats here. If this is your first time playing tabletop simulator, you might have some settings you might want to change. So up here in the top right hand corner, we have rotational degrees. Mine is set to 90 already. However, yours might be at 15. I'd recommend doing it to 90. So that way, if you have cards out in the field here, you can use the Q or E button to easily tap them. To start a game off, you'll have to shuffle your deck. To do that, you can press the R button. You can press it a couple of times to give it a good shuffle. Now I have to draw my starting hand, which is six cards and unlimited. So I'm going to press the number six on my keyboard. That will give me six cards. Now looking at this hand, we're going to mulligan. So I will highlight the whole thing, hit F, and I'll drag it on top of the deck. And it'll bring it, put it all on top. I'll select R again and draw six more. Now we'll resource two cards and we'll take the initiative here. You obviously have the easy numbers of adding here and subtracting for life totals. You have exhausting all of the items here, the, your leader or the resources, and you may click the ready button to ready any of it. Now in Star Wars Unlimited, you do have the option to always peek at your resource. So if you want to peek at any face down card, you just hit shift and then alt and it'll show you the card. So down here, I have a strike true and a resupply. On either sides of the play surface here, we have tokens for damages, experience, shields. We also have some for sentinel, epic action counters, and random reminder tokens. These are all infinite, so you can pull out as many as you need. And when you're done, you can either throw them in the trash, or you can throw them right in the discard pile. For example, if I had Yoda here on the ground, and he had three damage, and my opponent attacked him, I could simply just put him in the discard pile, and then the token goes away. And of course, I would draw my card. Another big action in Star Wars Unlimited is deploying your leader. When you want to do that, you hover over your leader and press the number two on your keyboard. That will flip them to the other side. You'll then, of course, drag them out and then press E to ready the unit as leaders do deploy ready. Some cards ask you to start your deck, like Mon Mothma here. She says, when played, search the top five cards of your deck and look for a rebel card. So let's play her. Now in this, we're going to right click on top of the deck, hover the search function here, and she's five. So we're going to click the top five cards. So this will bring up the top five cards and we happen to have some rebels. So it's still only early in the game. So we're going to grab Bright Hope. 
We're going to pull him out and then drag out the rest of the cards also face down. Once I have all the cards out, I'll hit the X button up here. I'll click off of my deck. I'll highlight this and I'll press R to randomly shuffle the bottom cards. Pick up my deck by clicking and holding it for a second and then dragging the entire deck on top of the other deck. Then again, I will click and hold and bring it back to the deck area. Flip the card to reveal that it is a rebel to my opponent, and then I'll drag it back to my hand. All right, everyone. Well, that's the basics of Tabletop Simulator. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of the Outmaneuver guys on Discord. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the battlefield.